Good morning, homesteaders. Uh, it's a cold morning today, but what we're going to do today is we're going to start tapping maple trees. We looked at the forecast, and they're calling for the next week of above freezing during the day and below freezing at night, and that's the ideal temperatures you want to get your sap to flow. Last two winters have been really, really bad about getting enough sap for syrup, so even if it's only a week during this little warm spell, uh, we want to try and get as much sap in as we can. So we're going to go ahead and tap and hopefully we'll get some sap and start making some maple syrup here this week. Another little problem we had today is uh, one of our female goats had babies this morning and unfortunately one of them was stillborn and the other one got outside trying to follow mom and it froze. So we lost two babies this morning. Um, it's sad but that's part of what happens here on the homestead. We've got them separated, we got them milked, so she's doing good there and she's calmed down, she just misses her babies. But, back to the uh, tapping trees. Uh, I use a 7 16 drill bit to put the spline in, and this is the spline, this is what you put in the tree. Amy's just coughing way back there and shaking the camera. I, <coughs> I'm gonna put you on hold. Alright, we're back again. Amy's got the tripod out so it doesn't shake as bad on it. Anyway, I use a 7 16 bit to put the spline in. This is the spline, what goes in the tree. I've marked, put a piece of tape on here at about an inch and a half. And I try to drill about an inch and a half, sometimes up to two inches, into the tree. And I drill at a slightly upward angle on it. So I'm going to go over here to this first tree. Here in the hole, I go about three feet up. And I do it on the south side of the tree. That way we're getting that southern sun on the tree to help get in the sap right coming up through it. You did it at a bit of an angle, right? Yes, I'm, I'm doing a little bit of an upward angle. And then cleaning it back out. And once I get that solid sound, I know it's seated really well. Get the hose out. And it's ready for a bucket to put, be put underneath it. And that's all there is to it. We'll bring buckets out here in a bit and get buckets under them. We've got many, many more trees to be working on. I think we're up to 55 this year. Up to 55 trees, she says, this year. So we've got to get those done. Like I said, hopefully we'll get enough warm enough temperatures today that we'll start getting sap running either this afternoon or tomorrow. They're talking about up into the 40s and 50s throughout the week this week before it gets cold again. Like I said, you need above freezing during the day, below freezing at night. Um, we're going to head on out to the next trees here and we'll catch you in a bit. <laughs> I wanted to show you the hat I got for Amy in honor of uh, deer season and I told her it would be a good luck hat for her to be wearing out in the woods that nobody would notice. So that's Amy's good luck hat to wander around in the woods during deer season. Hello again. Uh, we got all the trees tapped. We got our lines out there. Buckets on the ground. Now we all we need is some warm weather to get this sap moving. She said, hopefully this will work. It, it might not happen, but it's better to get this stuff done. And if we can get, you know, another batch of uh, syrup made, it's that much better for us. So we're going to do rest of some chores for today here, take care of a few other things, and then get back in before the ice storm we got supposedly coming tonight comes in. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. If you're not subscribing, please do so. Visit our website at OurHarvestMoonHomestead.com. Catch us on Facebook and Instagram, same address. You all have a good day and hope you have a great weekend. <laughs>